US history is filled with examples of how racial tensions can turn violent. But when a controversy over racism erupts in Canada, it happens in the most Canadian way possible. Take a look. Americans love shouting at each other. Sports. And shouting at each other about sports. And no controversy has quite beat the war drums like Native American names in sports. Pressure continues to mount on the Washington Redskins to change their name. Some Native Americans find this incredibly offensive. But Redskin stories are so 2016. So I headed north, where a controversy has taken the Canadian Football League, which I'm being told is a real thing, by storm. The Edmonton Eskimos are facing some heat over their name. Some people find the term racist and say it harkens back to less enlightened times. And the controversy has even reached Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. This is a discussion and a reflection uh, that the city of Edmonton uh, certainly needs to, to undertake. Hmm, not the boldest statement I've seen him make on race. So, how do we settle this once and for all? To find out if the team name is truly offensive, I spoke to the only people who are qualified to decide. Real life Eskimo fans. <laughs> this is the first time I found out that there was a Canadian league. We get one point for a missed field goal. How Canadian can you get? get you, you get one yeah. for having a go. You have yeah. a go. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it, the, the E word. How do you feel about the E word? You're allowed to say it. I'm That's allowed fine. to say it? Yeah. Eskimos? Yeah. Betcha. Is it a derogatory term, Eskimos? I don't think it's offensive one bit. Well, what about so the Washington Redskins? Do you think they're offensive? Redskins, yes. Redskins, yes. Indians, yes. And <laughs> what's the difference between the Redskins and the Indians and calling the Eskimos? Because the people that are offended by it, I don't think they truly exist. I'd love to take a white guy's word for it, but to get another perspective, I travelled to northern Canada, home to tens of thousands of Indigenous Canadians, and sat down with two locals. Look, am I allowed to say S, um... Eskimo? Yeah, I, I, you can say it. I'm allowed to say it. I don't view our people as Eskimos. Mm. But we are Inuit. So Inuit is the chosen name of the indigenous people of northern Canada. Eskimo is from when a bunch of white people said, F it, we're calling you Eskimos. Do you go along to the games? Uh, when the Rough Riders are playing. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Edmonton Eskimos. Wait, what is a Rough Rider? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's a community that says, that's offensive in my culture, I use lube. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing all this made me think, where do we draw the line? Would you support a team called the Montreal Blacks? No. The Munich Jews. The Munich, yeah. Uh, With Australian rules, we don't have a team called the Aboriginals. Well, that you would be classifying as an entire... Oh, I just shot myself in the foot, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Now you're... Yeah. Now I'm just making good points. That you must are. be getting in the way. <laughs> the other reason this whole thing isn't so innocent? Canada has historically done some shady stuff to the Inuit. The Canadian government removed upwards of 150,000 children from their families and as many as 6,000 died while in the care of the government. Hey Canada, removing children from their families is supposed to be an American thing. I was taken away from home when I was five. Some guy picked me up like a football and carried me on the plane while I screamed. I was gone from home for five years. But she five, had two six. consecutive years without seeing family. Uh, Inuits, were they genocided at all? The yeah, Canadian yeah. government did some pretty horrible shit. There was uh, the sterilization in the 60s. Right, okay, well, hold on. Yeah. The, 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 you sterilized them in the 60s? Yep. What else? Smallpox. Um, you gave the smallpox blankets? Yeah. That's a bit genocide-y. Did we actually smallpox? I didn't know that shit. Yeah. 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 That's, not <laughs> That's not helping our argument, though. Luckily, the Canadians are at least starting to get their act together. Early this year, the government officially said sorry for the way they treated the Inuit. We are sorry. But despite new government programs, the Inuit still have bigger worries than football. For example, many Inuit communities struggle with alcoholism and the suicide rate is about 11 times higher than the national average. Before we discuss a name of a football team, we should be discussing the suicide rates, the housing shortage, the alcoholism, residential schools, we should be addressing those issues instead. She may have a point. Are we focusing on the wrong thing? These guys aren't bothered by the name. 
So I wondered if they'd be offended by some new products. So maybe we can have a compromise here. We keep the team name, but also find a way to draw more attention to the problems that the Inuits are facing. So you have koozies that say Edmonton Eskimos World Champion Drinkers. <laughs> Toss that one. New mascot, depressed penguin on the side of a building. No, <laughs> put that one to rest There's as well. There's a pile down there. You have to choose one. Here we go. I'm scared. All right, so you get a foam hand. So this one says, we're number one to live on this land. That can be the maybe pile. <laughs> we're getting a strong maybe. <laughs> So, bottom line, are these diehards ever going to bend on changing the name? See, my position on it is, if they want to change it... Here we go. Get ready for some bullshit about tradition. And they feel victimised by it? No grown man wearing a team scarf would ever give up. If that's what they want, I will support that. If it's felt needed to change the name, change the name. F***ing Canadians, man. They're just so reasonable. <laughs> They're just like, well, OK, then. There seems to be a problem. We'll get this fixed. My Inuit friends are sure going to be happy to hear this. But to me, I wasn't offended. I joke about the Edmonton football team was our team because they had our name. Well, then what the f*** are we talking about here? <laughs> well, that's mission accomplished. Whether the team ends up changing its name or not, it seems like both sides are open to finding a sensible compromise. So I guess the only real loser here is, is me for being dumb enough to go to Canada in search of an American-style controversy. Canada, it moves a bit faster than America in politeness. <laughs> we like to have fun. <laughs> I need you in my audience. You should stack it with Eskimos. <laughs> Inuits. <laughs> Inuits. Inuits. <laughs>